And one area that I am especially excited about is the efforts uh, that are done by our team, uh, by uh, Thomas Torf and the team from Abdul's organization around the bringing the power of design thinking uh, to, uh, let me switch this to black, the power of design thinking to totally new areas. Um, and that has been one of the most inspiring and most extraordinary aspects of our work is new custom applications. Uh, and with the recent, um, recent uh, merger of uh, the uh, custom developer organization with, with Abdul's team, this gives us a tremendous opportunity for growth. Uh, we just signed uh, a very large deal with the CMA, one of the largest transportation companies in the world, um, for things like transportation asset management on HANA, uh, and doing logistics and route calculations and stuff like this, which is very, very hard. Um, here is, these are route calculations, uh, forecasting of utilization of containers. These are the kinds of problems where we can run things tens of thousands of times faster. Um, we can do go after really amazing problems in banks, for example, real-time risk calculations and things like that. We've been doing a project with eBay, a really inspirational project that Thomas Torf and Priya and the team have been doing uh, with Abdul's team, um, as a part of Abdul's team, on calculating signals and using signals to figure out the health of what the CFO of eBay calls the eBay economy. There are uh, 300 people, analysts in eBay, who work on analyzing signals and uh, determining some things of impact to eBay. For example, they found that there was this one particular signal that went undetected for seven months, and uh, every day it cost eBay between 1.5 to 2.5 million dollars, so 1.5 to 2 million dollars a day for seven months, and one person manually found this after seven months. With HANA, we were able to find the same signal automatically within 14 minutes. Um, and uh, these are the kinds of extraordinary achievements that we can get to. Uh, in healthcare, for example, we have a great project going on uh, on the healthcare platform with Barbara Stortz um, in uh, rethinking the entire healthcare experience from the predictive stuff with genomic and proteomic analysis We've been working with researchers around the world, including here at Stanford and in Europe, on uh, running gene sequencing and uh, alignment and variant calling and so forth, uh, dozens to hundreds of times faster with HANA, to uh, uh, preventive medicine, where we can analyze tons of signals now, that data that comes in uh, from armbands that people wear and all kinds of signals and sensors that people are putting into and around their, their bodies to monitor their own health, to the actual reactive experience inside the hospital once somebody ends up in the hospital, the rethinking of the hospital management system, the patient management system. Uh, so this is an incredibly exciting area to open up new frontiers for us uh, in areas that were frankly not possible before. In, in the oil industry, for example, with exploration of oil, we can do seismic data analysis uh, for exploratory um, work that, that big oil companies do. They spend hundreds of millions of dollars on uh, every year on doing exploration of oil, um, in uh, predictive analysis for um, drills, uh, for drilling. Um, every time a drill gets stuck, there is a tens of millions of dollars of uh, expenses that have to be incurred to remove the drill and, and stuff like this. So these great, amazing problems of our times, uh, these are in our reach and uh, we have teams Beyond rethinking the existing portfolio, we have teams that are going after these totally new areas. And this is something that is quite extraordinary. So if you are uh, thinking about this, I think just think about something that is desirable, feasible, and viable for customers. Think about something that uh, brings a combination of this large volume of data, complexity of the question, the rate of change of data, so, um, and bring the power of HANA to these kinds of problems. And frankly, our imagination is the only limitation that is holding us back on being able to build amazing, amazing applications that change the world. So finally, um, when we look at uh, the revolution that HANA brings about, um, we are transforming our entire portfolio of products around the power of HANA. We are also going into venturing into new areas that, uh, that were never possible before in totally new industries. But when you look at the broader ecosystem around us, there is a tremendous amount of imagination that is out there. Uh, my biggest experience with HANA over the last three years has been that in building out the amazing applications, frankly, um, 
our imagination has not been as uh, as vivid and as uh, extraordinary as I would have thought. And to some degree, that is to be expected. You know, we have built our applications over the last four decades. So in many ways, our thinking becomes dominated by or being constrained by the kinds of things that we always did. And so refactoring and rethinking and reimagining these is, uh, is something that comes naturally to us. But there is a ton of uh, amazing things that can be done with this technology. Um, and so we have a thriving ecosystem of partners, of companies that have been building so solutions around this. And we need to think about new ways to bring these uh, innovations to market. And so we have been thinking about new areas, um, for example, things um, like that we did, like um, HANA 1, which is um, the uh, deployment of HANA that is available on, on AWS, but also on Korea Telecom, on Portugal Telecom, and, and many others on VMware, um, and so on. And we recently um, started working on HANA as a service in our own data center. Uh, and of course, the what I believe is the cornerstone of our future is the HANA Enterprise Cloud to run our applications and complex applications, mission critical applications um, on HANA in the uh, in our cloud, uh, whether it is in our data centers or deployed in the uh, uh, as a cloud cell uh, in uh, the data centers of our large customers, but. With the efficiency of um, uh, of HANA, the efficiency of the cloud, and the ability to do elastic deployments of large scales, um, and be able to get the benefits of running multiple workloads on a pool of resources without compromise. And in terms of the applications, our partners are doing some amazing things. Um, you know, uh, Capgemini showed us some incredible work that they have done on propensity modeling and retail. Uh, Accenture has done a great set of uh, things in our, around retail and thinking about uh, consumer proximity, customer segmentation, and things like this. Uh, Deloitte has been building applications. Uh, many small companies, Bluefin, Guycom, companies like this have been building uh, great products on top of HANA. There are lots and lots of Brahmasol and uh, uh, Cognilytics and tons of companies, uh, Infosys, Wipro, uh, they are all building amazing applications. Uh, IBM, of course, is our distinguished partner in implementation uh, and so on. So there is a thriving ecosystem of companies around HANA. But the one thing in our ecosystem that I personally find the most exciting is uh, a program that we started um, uh, last year, uh, in uh, February of last year, and that was the uh, startup program. And um, here, if you look at, um, we have today more than 800 startup companies that are building applications on HANA, 800. It's just an amazing achievement that Costa and the team have done. This prog program started in February of last year, and we are on track to get to 1,000 startup companies on HANA who are building their products on HANA by the end of this year. So if you look at the startup companies, they are doing all kinds of amazing things. So here is Warwick Analytics, for example, that is working on rethinking manufacturing. Uh, there is Zetaset back there. Um, there is uh, Houdini. Um, Thingworks doing an amazing set of things around Internet of Things. There is this company Mobideo, which is our first commercial success of the startup program. We already have the first deals that have been done by, uh, by Mobideo. Um, Next Principles is a Another company in the one-on-one -on -one marketing area, there is Optessa around pricing and purchasing optimization. My God, there are all these companies doing 42 stats. They do a customer uh, proximity analysis and things like this. And also some really out there kinds of companies, uh, like for instance, here is Taudine. Um, this is one of the most extraordinary ones. One day I got a mail from the CEO of Taudine that they are doing visualizations of stars using HANA. And of course, uh, the first reaction was, what the hell is that? Um, uh, and uh, you think about the imagination of people. When you, uh, we have now data on uh, hundreds of thousands of stars. Uh, recently, the um, um, Gaia satellite went out into the space to collect information on a billion stars. 
Um, and we have all this data. So uh, what Taudine does is they do visualizations of uh, star fields. So you can do a 3D model of the way the universe looks and you can you know fly around at warp speeds through the universe. And the, the challenge is that when you look at the universe from a particular angle, uh, you have to recalculate and repaint the entire uh, star map based on the, the way that you're looking at it and the distance of the stars and their luminosity and how big they are and stuff like that. And, and this calculation is, they used to get a slice of the sh shared slice of a NASA supercomputer and pre-calculate the possible views and this misses the point with how to do this calculation on the fly. It's just amazing. Or this company, um, Mobilistic, MIBS, this is Mobilistic Innovative Business Solutions uh, based out of India, they do they look at the uh, spread of, uh, they predict, the forecast the spread of disease in India. You know, recently the rains ended, see here it is, if you look back behind me, it is raining uh, in California today. Um, every year around this time, uh, you know, in the summer, the monsoons come in India and they bring a lot of disease, um, malaria, typhoid, cholera, and uh, there is always a shortage of uh, relief workers, of, of nurses, of doctors, of medicine. And what they do is they use HANA to forecast where the disease is going to spread next so that you can plan uh, the supply of medicine and, and of people and, and stuff like that. It's really incredible. They also look at the integrity of the medicine supply chain and things like that. It's just amazing kinds of uh, things that people are doing. Here is Fan Apps, which looks at, of course, the fan experience. And uh, uh, more than 800 companies already on their way to a thousand of them in 57 different countries. Building, uh, building their applications on HANA. It is incredibly inspirational. So when you think about this amazing, this inspirational work that the startup companies are doing and, and, the, and the journey that we have been on, uh, on the one hand, it feels like we have been doing this for three years, but when I think about it, when I think about the power of what is in front of us, uh, it is very clear that uh, in many ways, we have only just begun. Um, the HANA revolution is still um, you know, in front of us. We have just begun. Let me... We have just begun. And with HANA, the only limitation is our imagination. So go out there. Um, Think about some amazing things that can be done with this technology. Think about simplifying things around us, doing great new, unprecedented things around us. Uh, learn more, uh, educate yourself. I hope you find these, uh, this set of classes educational and informative, and more than anything else, inspirational. Um, life is too short to, uh, to do the same old things. The future, um, you know, Alan Kay, one of the great teachers of my life, uh, once told me right here outside this, um, uh, outside this, this balcony, that uh, the future does not have to be an increment of the past. It is something that we can, that we can build. You know, we are developers. We are software industry um, builders. Uh, we can build things with our hands, with our minds, the things that are possible, things that are desirable and, and viable. Um, and I think that with HANA, with design thinking, with our great strengths as a business, um, we, you know, the best is yet to come. The best is in front of us. And uh, our primary limitation is our imagination. And the good news with that is that this is something that, that is under our control. We can fix that. So all the best. I hope the, uh, all the best for you. And uh, thank you for listening here. Thank you. All the best.